In this video, I'll provide a review of using ChatGPT to analyze ELISA data. Artificial intelligence is an incredible tool for performing a variety of different tasks and could be used to complete ELISA data analysis. I'll provide a demonstration of how this is possible, as well as the advantages and disadvantages, and some of the caveats of using AI systems for data analysis. I've performed an example ELISA, and I have the raw data contained in a TXT file. You can see here my data is arranged in a typical 12 by 8 microplate format. The plate layout is comprised of six standards in duplicate from A1 through F2, followed by unknown samples in duplicate filling the rest of the plate. My standard concentrations begin with 400 and follow a series divided by 2. I'd like to plot a 4PL fit with concentrations on the x-axis and measurement data on the y-axis. From this curve, I'd like to calculate the concentrations of my unknown samples. To begin, I'll open the Data Analyst GPT option in ChatGPT. This is a text-based tool for performing data analysis. Using this text box, you can enter parameters for your analysis. First, I'll enter the prompt requesting assistance with the performance of an ELISA analysis. We'll receive a response from ChatGPT requesting additional information such as the type of ELISA, data format, standards information, samples information, and the objective of our analysis. ChatGPT will also request our measurement data. I'll upload the text measurement data file by attaching it to the text box and provide additional information about my analysis. For this prompt, I've added, I've attached my data in a 12 by 8 microplate format. The first two columns, rows 1 through 6, are standards in duplicate. The remainder of the plate is unknown samples in horizontal duplicate. The standard concentrations begin with 400 and follow a series divided by 2. I would like to plot a 4PL curve and calculate the concentrations of the unknown samples. ChatGPT will now perform a 4PL fit and provide a summary of the calculations performed. Here we can see our 4PL fit, and I'll advise to proceed with the analysis. So the concentrations of our unknown samples have now been calculated, and I'll request the full list of calculated concentrations in a CSV file. So now you can see an option appears here, allowing us to download the CSV file containing the unknown average absorbance and calculated concentrations. So let's review some of the pros and cons of performing ELISA analysis with ChatGPT. ChatGPT is free to use and can perform the required analysis. However, the text-based instruction format can be difficult to use. All instructions must be entered as text, and there are no user interface controls for providing ELISA-specific settings, such as a layout editor. In performing a series of ELISA analyses, you'll notice the analysis is potentially unreliable. Sometimes ChatGPT is unable to complete the analysis and returns error messages, even with the same data and instructions. OpenAI use usage caps, so if you go over your use allowance, you'll be blocked and asked to return perhaps in 90 minutes to resume work. The analysis performed by any AI system is a black box. It's not possible to understand how or why any action is taken in response to a request. In ChatGPT's presentation of the data, it's difficult to follow your data through each step of the analysis to identify the well locations and track any sample IDs, and the CSV report contains very limited information. It's not currently possible to store or save analysis settings to a protocol within ChatGPT. So if you want to perform the same analysis again in ChatGPT, you will need to provide the same instructions again, and it's likely that the AI model will behave differently the next time you use it, perhaps requiring new ways of providing the instructions or performing different analysis or outputting different results. This makes it difficult to share your method with colleagues and collaborators. 
any AI model is only as good as the data it was trained on. It's not clear what data ChatGPT was trained on and if or how that data will change over time. With any AI models, there's a risk that the training data is incomplete or biased, or that the AI model may learn incorrect patterns. This can lead to the AI model making incorrect predictions and presenting them in such a way that they may be considered as fact, known as AI hallucinations. With any type of protocol-based data analysis, such as ELISA, the same outputs should be produced for the same inputs. This may not be the case for ChatGPT. These issues make validation of the system impossible, meaning it's impractical to use for most real-world applications. OpenAI themselves advise, while we have safeguards, ChatGPT may give you incorrect information. It is not intended to give advice. Beyond this, the future of AI is uncertain due to potential new legislation that is likely to limit or certainly control the use of the technology. The US, UK, China, and Europe are all rushing to publish their own guidelines. As governments around the world race to introduce AI regulation, this may impact what services are available as they work to ensure that the development of technology does not threaten people's safety and rights. Thus, while ChatGPT and similar services are exceptional tools for creating content, these risks, inconsistencies, and inability to understand the process or validate the system mean that it has limited value for performing real-world data analysis where consistency and reliability are essential. In contrast, MyAssays offers a free online data analysis tool specifically designed to perform ELISA analysis. MyAssays.com includes over 750 pre-configured analysis protocols comprised of common curve fit methods such as 4PL and 5PL, as well as commercially available assay kits. The user interface is designed specifically for ELISA applications so that you can easily enter and store the data and parameters for your assays. The reporting available includes the opportunity to enter sample IDs for unknown samples and provides a clear progression from the well location and raw data through to the calculated concentrations. MyAssays.com has been in service since 2011 and is a tried and trusted analysis platform. I'll quickly demonstrate how to perform the same analysis we used ChatGPT for in MyAssays.com. I'll navigate to MyAssays.com and identify the analysis protocol I'd like to use. For this example, I'll use the four-parameter logistic curve. I'll log in to my free online account. And here we can move through these tabs to quickly and easily customize the data analysis. First, I'll copy and paste in my measurement data. Next, I'll specify the plate layout. If the layout I'd like to use exists, we can make that selection. But for my assay, the plate does not include a blank or a control sample. So I'll select to create a new layout and use the plate layout editor to specify the layout. I'll remove the blank and control sample and clear the unknowns from the rest of my plate. I'll enter unknown samples starting in G1 and G2 and fill the rest of the plate with horizontal duplicates. Once I'm happy with my layout, I'll save and close. Next, we can update the standard concentrations. The default concentrations, starting with 400 and following a series divided by 2, is correct for my assay, so I don't need to make any changes here. Next, we can specify any applicable dilution factors for our unknown samples and add sample IDs if necessary. Once we have all the settings configured for our assay, we can press Calculate to calculate our results. Once our calculations are complete, we can view the interactive curve chart to display the curve in greater detail, adding further sample types to view on the curve. We can select the results option to view the full report. At the top, you'll see the curve chart and our curve fitting parameters, including goodness measures. Below this, you'll see the calibrator table, providing additional information about our calibrator samples. Next, you'll see the sample table, including the sample ID, well location, raw values, concentration values for both replicates, the average concentrations, and percent CV, SD, and SEM for the replicates. These results can be exported to a printer-friendly version, exported to Excel, or you can share the data and results with a colleague by selecting the Share Data and Results option to create a unique link. Opening these results in Excel, 
You can see the report is neatly organized, includes the curve fit information, and full transparency in the sample table, following the sample locations, raw results, and calculated concentrations through the analysis. In addition to MyAssays.com, MyAssays Limited also offers the MyCurveFit Excel add-in, allowing you to perform complex curve fit methods from directly within Excel, and MyAssays Desktop, which is a fully featured analysis software including extensive data analysis functionality and tooling. MyAssays Desktop also includes analysis options for many different types of data, such as endpoint, dual endpoint, kinetic, spectral, multiplex, and well scan. For more information on these options, please see the links in the description. If you have any questions about performing ELISA analysis, please email us at support at myassays.com.